Hey everyone, Steve Kim, we're so excited. Steve Kim Show, episode number 269. The much anticipated March stats are in, and as usual, I got your numbers and your stats as they pertain to Toronto and the GTA. So let's get right into the numbers. So back in February 2024 in Toronto, we had just over 1,900 sales against just over 5,000 active listings. As we moved into March, the number of sales jumped to just over 2,300 and active listings rose to just over 5,500. In York region back in February 2024, we had just over 1,000 sales against just over 1,900 active listings. Sales jumped up in March up to over 1,200 as well as active listings now jumping up to over 2,200. Now supply and demand, again, this is across all housing types on average. In Toronto in February, we are hovering around 2.7 months of inventory. Fast forward into March, not much of a change, now at 2.8 months of inventory. In York Region, we held firm at 2.4 months of inventory in February, as well as 2.4 months of inventory now into March. And we know that a balanced market typically hovers around four to five months of inventory. So in various segments throughout Toronto and the GTA, we are very much experiencing a seller's market. Now for the average sales price month over month. And don't forget, this is encompassing all housing types, detached, townhomes, semi-detached, condo, apartments, condo, townhouses, etc. So back in February 2024 in Toronto, we were having around $1.07 million. Fast forward in March, it crept up a little bit to now $1.087 million. In New York region, an average property in February 2024 was trading around $1.32 million. Fast forward in March, crept up a little bit, now to $1.33 million. Now, year-over-year price changes. This is an important number to pay attention to. So an average property in Toronto back in March 2023 was trading on $1.05 million. Like I shared with you now, it's trading on $1.087 million. That equates to about a 3.3% increase year over year for an average property in Toronto. In York Region, an average property back in March 2023 was trading on $1.34 million. Like I shared with you now, into March 2024, is trading on $1.33 million. That's pretty much a negligible change, but if we were to do the exact calculation, that equates to about a 0.5% drop year over year for an average property in York Region. GTA Realtors reported just over 6,500 sales through Treb's MLS system in March 2024, which was down about 4% compared to March 2023. Now, new listings were up around 15% over the same period. On a seasonally adjusted monthly basis, sales were down around 1.1%. Now, new listings were also down around 3% compared to February. Now, the average selling price edged up in comparison to last year as we moved through the first quarter of 2024. Price growth is expected to accelerate during the spring and even more into the second half of the year as sales growth catches up with listings growth and seller's market conditions start to emerge in many neighborhoods. Now, lower borrowing costs in the months ahead will also have to help fuel buyer demand as we move further into 2024. I hope you enjoyed these numbers and the stats. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, be your panel. Take care.